Oh, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the PDG Invitational. We are here for the first match of this morning and, of course, the first match of the finals. It's going to be Vox Eminor versus Team Immunity, and I'm here with JB Gunslinger, my co-caster for today. I'm Elfish Guy, and we are going to be taking you through this best of three. Um, the first map is going to be Inferno, which was uh, Immunity's pick, who also banned out Cache, or I guess vetoed out Cache is what we're looking for here. And Vox picked up uh, Dust2, as we've uh, been informed by PDG, and they uh, vetoed Overpass. Uh, does look like we're going to be jumping into the server pretty quickly, um, if we can get that underway. It uh, looks like, I think we should be already underway into the pistol round, and we've missed a little bit. Uh, not sure what's going on with the spectator. But here we go, we are now into, if we can get into first person, that'll be fantastic. Yam, going to be picking up one here, and Immunity looking very good so far, and they've picked up the pistol round on the terrorist side of Inferno. Yeah, we have actually gone an early pistol round to Terra. Sorry we missed the start of that, but it is looking very, very solid for these guys. They are probably expected uh, a bit more uh, opposition coming from Vox. These guys are probably expecting this to go right down to the wire. These guys have been practicing pretty hard. And they did come out in the top seat, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Now, they do have AKs. Um, you know, one AK, two AKs, and a couple of... Uh, just an SMG coming out. They're going to look towards window room. And we're going to find a couple of a bit of push towards mid right now. Ricky going to pull across. James going to find some early damage early. Can he see it? No. He doesn't find anyone actually. Ricky going to push back towards mid. Azza, can he find a pick? Not that looking likely. And uh, MSI, can he find anyone? It does appear that it uh, looks like Immunity going to be heading towards that B bomb site primarily at the moment. And they've actually drawn the complete rotation here from Vox at the moment. And uh, well, I mean, if they're going to be jumping in here, they're going to be finding a four stack on that site. So uh, if they do decide to go for it, which it appears they are going to be doing, uh, it could turn out disastrous for them. But uh, they do have the gun advantage. So we'll see what Sniper can do here on the entry. He has been doing fantastic work uh, over the past few days so far. But we'll see now how, what happens. James picks up one. Yam picks up another sponge. Finds one for the, uh, the counter-terrorist, but Imagine is too strong with that P90. Picks up two, and the final man alive, going to be Azza, uh, is taken down there by Ricky. And another round win there, going over to Team Immunity. Yeah, this is actually looking like a great start from uh, Immunity. They are pushing their advantage really early. They're going to have all these, these buyers coming in, making Vox have to work for their uh, first round. It looks like, you know, still just full eco coming in. Uh, lots of AKs, nothing special coming out from uh, Immunity yet. They're just trying to keep their advantage pushed towards the mid. It actually looks like uh, Yam had a few kills there, which is pretty good. Uh, James going to find one pick early, actually going to look towards this mid. they got this stacked up outside doors there, and can they find any picks? It's just taking it really nice and easy, which I think is, is, is the right idea. And Ricky, again, they're just taking it nice and slow. Do you think these guys uh, are going to have the, the picks they need to find further on in this match? I'm sure Immunity shouldn't be having too much difficulty at the moment. They do have those guns, as we've said. And Immunity should have pretty free entry to this bomb site. The, uh, the counter-terrorist area is smoked off. Uh, but it looks like they're going to be rotating straight over into this stack once again. And uh, Azza has got a pretty decent position here if he peeks out now. Both of them aren't looking, but he does find one. Cannot find the second, though, and Yan picks him up. So a uh, pretty decent uh, entry there from Immunity. But uh, Vox doing a fair bit of damage with those pistols. You could say they picked up two kills already, but Top Gun going to be the final one alive. Is taken down, and the bomb is going to be planted as well by Immunity. So a little bit more gold going in over into their pockets, and uh, they'll be pleased with that round. But Vox, I think, wouldn't be particularly disappointed being able to pick up a couple of kills in that round. Yeah, they did manage to find a few, but it looks like they are going to have some uh, guns coming in right now. Lots of M4 is going to make this much more even, and AWP coming in for Ricky right now. So the AKs uh, and the AWP is going to look pretty dangerous. They're going to have a look towards mid and banana right now. So, yeah, he's looking like he ha has come through here a few times now, and he's looked to make a few early picks, but hasn't really found anyone. It's been pretty quiet. They've just sort of really hung back and made it to look like... Uh, He's, he's not looking to push forward too, too aggressively. And it looks like uh, Vox just sort of hang back. They're going to wait for the push. They're going to smoke this one out. And uh, they're kind of just trying to get into the right position and find themselves with the defense. Yam just getting ready. Going to throw that grenade over the top. And 
Ricky sort of pushing up aggressively with this orb. Will they find anything? Yeah, I'm going to push through into this one. The knife out. Does have the AK, but actually gets sprayed down. Top Gun picking up two headshots there. Real, real easy play there. And uh, Azza, he's got this position. He's fra uh, in... Sorry. <clears throat> he's thrown out the, uh, the, the firebomb. Imagine finding uh, Havoc there. Can he find another? He's in a pretty good position. Ricky goes down, loses that orb. Sponge takes him down. Imagine... Will he find another one right now? There seems to be one pushing back towards. Can he find the guy in here? No. Sponge takes him down. So that is a great round win there from Vox. Now they have weapons. They do. And uh, Vox picking up the first rifle round. That's always a good uh, situation for them, I guess. Uh, you know, you wouldn't want to be losing that rifle round after losing the pistol round as well. You'd be looking at a 5-0 deficit straight off the bat. And that's not something that you want to be doing up against one of the best teams in Australia in immunity. Uh, of course, this is going to be Vox and immunity. Uh, immunity haven't set their name, but uh, that is definitely them, uh, for those of you that were wondering. And uh, we are going to see them rolling out here with the Tech Nines. And we'll... We'll see what they can do here in the middle area. Looks like they're going to be pushing actually towards Banana here with that bomb. Um, but it is going to be tough for them to get in here. They don't have any guns to speak of. But, you know, we have seen the Tech Nines prove pretty strong over the weekend so far. And have seen quite a few eco rounds won by the terrorist side. And uh, that's something, you know, that comes out because of that weapon. You don't need to reload or anything. You can jump in sight, fire off 10 bullets, kill a couple guys. Uh, you know, do another 10 bullets. And you've still got 10 bullets in the clip. But uh, Top Gun picks up one. JKS picks up another two and a fantastic bomb. Uh, B-side defense coming out from uh, Vox at the moment. Uh, the final man alive for immunity is going to be Yam. Yeah, uh, Vox just looks uh, pretty good this side. Now that they have their weapons and they forced terrorists back onto just all Tech Nines, they only had two armors there, only one head armor coming through. And they've just been decimated. I mean, it's, it's to be expected that you're not going to win this round. But I mean, they haven't even got barely any damage on. They haven't found any picks to get, some, to get the guns off these guys. And they're just going to get that clean ace. Yeah, and that's a fantastic result for Vox. They're going to start to get that money rolling in the bank uh, rather than the gold, of course, that the terrorists have been using, as we've been uh, told by Twitch chat. And uh, Vox, yeah, they're looking pretty decent. Um, I mean, they lost the pistol round and then lost the expected three rounds. But after that, they've seemed pretty confident and haven't really faltered so far in uh, this uh, maps. So um, they are doing pretty well. And, uh, you know, they did seem uh, a little disheartened about their performance yesterday up against Chiefs. And I think they're definitely looking to come out here swinging and probably want to take this 2-0 against Immunity to just to prove that they are still one of the best, or if not the best, in Australia. Yeah, I mean, they did They did probably upset losing the Chiefs yesterday. It was probably not expected, especially being up so high, they were. And uh, Top Gun actually just finding a pick there with that M4. Ricky just going to scope back towards this one. But Chiefs, again, uh, Sponge talked about it before, they probably practiced for them, and it really showed off that, that second map on Mirage when it was 16-2 or something. Just a great play. And, you know, it's probably not what they want coming into Katowice, but again, they would have been practicing for that other tournament. So these guys are just trying to, you know, do as well as they can here. And Immunity have been looking probably the best team here. Uh, they are very much on point in this, this Invitational so far. And it's been a great Invitational. The games yesterday were absolutely amazing. They were a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of close games. The lower teams actually stepped up quite a lot and produced some really close games, like even Chiefs getting 15-15 a lot of the time. So, you know, that, uh, <coughs> sorry, a bit of uh, just grenades coming through there. JKS picks up the headshot onto Sniper. Can he find another one? Just hiding behind this pillar. Top Gun actually finds one. This has been a great defense from uh, Vox now. They found a goal of them and actually have it coming through, picking up the, the orb kill there on Yam, and that's another great defense from Vox. He had a rifle round there, was coming out uh, from Immunity, so they are going to be forced to eco once more. And uh, Vox have picked up all of the rifle rounds so far, and of course they picked up that one anti-eco as well. So they're sitting pretty on three apiece uh, so far. And uh, I mean, if you're Immunity, I guess this is a good point to be at, but ha having won that pistol round, you you'd think they'd probably want to have picked up a few more rounds out of this. Uh, so, I mean, they, neither team at the moment will be particularly pleased with their performance, or neither team will be particularly disappointed so far. We'll just have to wait and see how the rest of the, the map progresses, and uh, then we'll see how they go. But it looks like a, another B push going to be coming out here from uh, Immunity. We'll see if they do decide to rush through the smoke again like they did in their last pistol round, which uh, did prove to be disastrous. And Top Gun and JKS were just too strong on that side. It does look like Sniper's going to be rushing through here again, and Top Gun didn't get hit by that flash, and uh, fantastic defense coming out from him, but Top Gun is taken down by the Molly, and JKS is going to be the only one alive here 
on the B side, but Havoc is coming in for the backup, and the rest of the box members are rotating as well around through CT. JKS is still pretty much on site. No, heading in towards construction now. He's going to find Imagine there from behind as well, but Vox have got control of the site. It is only 2v4, though, so this is going to be tough for them to hold it off, especially considering they don't have uh, complete weapons. Uh, Ricky has managed to pick himself up an M4A1S, but that is going to go down to Havoc, and uh, James going to try and hold out here with the P250, but it's not going to be enough, and Vox picking up the round there pretty safely. Uh, they did lose two members, so that's probably their worst round so far, uh, but still very safe hold there coming out from them. Yeah, they probably should, uh, still have the money to purchase. I mean, they had pretty high economy already, and a little bit of a buy is coming through here for uh, immunity. They do have all AK, so it's just been you know, just enough to pick up everything they need. They've got full head armor, all the equipment they need, and they'll be looking to sort of equalize right now. They've just, they've lost four rounds in a row, not looking great for them, but they'll pick this one up, I'm sure. Fire coming out there. Top Gun looking to defend this one. They've been holding this uh, B site really, really effectively, and they'll be looking to you know, sort of just keep that up. I mean, Top Gun and JKS here have just been on point. So we'll try and, you know, shift over and see if they can make any pushes towards this side. Sponge and Azza trying to hold this you know, mid, alt mid apartments position. And they've been doing that fairly effectively as well. They haven't been able to make much inroads since they've had all the rifles. Yeah, looking to make a pick towards. Can he find Sponge? He's pretty close to looking out, but he doesn't quite find anything. The smoke was pretty good. James, the flash. Will they go in? No, he's just going to back away. They maybe look towards, to pull back towards mid and maybe go for a full man push. We are down to 50 seconds in the round and no frags have been made yet. So, will they find anyone? Looks like some... Fire gets Yam and Ricky as he picks one in return, but he does go down to Sponge. Imagine spraying, finally finds a pillar, but does find a uh, Sponge, but Havoc does find the pick on Sniper, finds Ooh. the second pick on James. Can he find the third? He does get the third on Imagine. That was just great sniping there. Definitely, and Havoc was pretty uh, impressive yesterday. Uh, probably wasn't uh, the top pick of the Orpers, uh, but it was certainly up there and uh, has definitely showed that he is ready to come out with uh, the goods today. He's 6 and 4 and I mean, JKS is the one that's probably the top scorer at the well, and definitely is the top scorer, but probably one of the better players for the for the Vox guys at the moment. Um, I guess that is uh, a case that Immunity have been pushing uh, the B site where he has been holding, and he's had the uh, the luck of the draw, I guess, has had the most picks out of there, but uh, looks like Ricky going to be picking up the first one there for the Terrace, and Immunity have got that entry frag, so we'll see what they're going to be able to do here. Havoc going to be taken down there as well by James, and he was going to be instrumental in that defense there, and unfortunately got taken down, uh, so this is looking good for Immunity at the moment. Four AKs on their side, no AWP at the moment for Ricky, and uh, Yam has been taken out, but the, the smoke's going to come in here from... Uh, Vox, and it looks like they're going to be trying to retake this site. They do have enough money to rebuy, but uh, this does not look like it's going to be a happy situation. JKS picking up one headshot through the jump, and uh, Top Gun finally after the round picking up a molly kill, but not going to be enough. And uh, Immunity picking up their fourth round. Yeah, that was great for Immunity. They just sort of really rushed in there towards uh, the A site and got into a really great position. And then when they rotated, Vox just got picked off one by one. Uh, you know, unfortunately, that fire kill right at the end, uh, it's not great. Uh, immunity probably wanted to keep their guns. They didn't have that much money, so they're going to do have a Galil right now, which is probably not looking the best for them, but they do have all AKs, and this will be probably another split because they've been doing previously. Just sending a couple up banana, but actually Sniper going this time. I think Yam a couple of times. Yam actually finds out of mid, finds one. And Yam is still the only pick. Sponge sitting down in the pit. Can he find one? Actually, no. Yam jumps off the roof. Havoc does find one with the AWP, but goes down to Ricky with his AK with a bit of a wall bang there. JKS trying to defend this one by himself. There is JK, uh, sorry, Top Gun coming from the other side. Will they find anyone? This is looking very good for terrorists once again. They have planted the bomb and immunity just looking to hold this site. And they do have the people to do so. Sniper picks up an early frag there in this defense. JKS probably just going to go save. Uh, he doesn't really have much to do. But Immunity, again, looking good now that they've got back into the money. Yeah, they are going to be picking up five rounds, and which is pretty much uh, where you want to be on Inferno. Uh, you'd probably want six rounds, but they're definitely going to be able to pick up a few more because there are still a fair amount of rounds left in uh, this half. And, uh, you know, if they can get to six or seven, they'll be definitely very pleased with themselves. Got to remember, though, that this is uh, Immunity's pick. So uh, they should be, uh, you know, the, I guess, favorites for this map. Um, but Dust2, I think we heard Sniper was with PDG saying that uh, 
Yeah, Vox definitely the best in Australia at that one, so uh, we will expect to see Vox taking that map as well. So hopefully we'll get onto our third map, which is going to be Nuke. Uh, the coin toss, I think it was between Mirage and Nuke, and it ended up with Nuke, which is exciting because we haven't seen Nuke this weekend. Uh, it has been, I guess, uh, the not favoured pick between these teams, and for good reason, I guess you could say, but will be fun for us to have a look at that one, and uh, we are going to be heading into the... Uh, the uh, seventh, tenth, eleventh round, even uh, if I can count and do maths, and uh, picking up one frag is going to be Sponge and Imagine as well. Havoc here trying to defend that A site on his own. He's waiting for those rotators, but they are going to be taken out here surely by Sniper uh, on the rotator uh, defense. And uh, Sniper should be able to pick Top Gun up here as well. He is flashed out though. I think that was a team flash, in fact, and he's going to find Top Gun with the headshot. Sniper picking up two or three in that round, and a fantastic job from him. He has been doing fantastically this weekend. Honestly, he's been top scoring uh, for a lot of these guys uh, in these uh, the rounds yesterday and that sort of thing. So uh, he is a very good talent. Yeah, they've been looking pretty good, but that was a quick round. Only 37 seconds it took there, and they've really just pushed in pretty aggressively. Yam yeah, picking up a few early frags like he's done pretty much every game so far. Uh, and they've looked very, very solid immunity. When they've been on the aggressive, I think when they've taken this more defensive approach, they've sort of looked worse, and it's taken yeah. them, they've getting picks off, getting picked here and there. But when they've just gone in as a unit and tried to look really aggressive, they've looked much, much better. And that's probably what they need to do against Vox, is just try and overwhelm them and, you know, try and get into the better position. They are sort of holding apartments right now, which is not a position they've been taking too often, but they are on the eco, so it's probably just one of their strategies for this. They're going to push down very aggressively, maybe try and find... The pick on to Ricky. Does find one, but gets taken down by Yam. In return, JKS. Going to rotate back through Banana. Actually going to try and flank them from behind. Azza just finds the guy standing there, but doesn't find his second. Yam takes him down. Havoc also goes down with a bit of a wall bang in sight. JKS and Top Gun rotating. Finds one. JKS, will he find a second? They do have an AK to assist them with this take. It is a 2v2, although Top Gun is... On fairly low health, does have an AK though to help him. Sniper, will he find a pick through this? He does find one. Can he find the second? No, actually goes down to JKS. JKS on 74 though. Does get it, takes a bit of damage there. He does have two frags so far this round. Will he be able to do anything? Looks like he's going for the retake. He does goes for the fake. Takes steps down and actually Whoa. finds him. Will he no, he won't be able to defuse though. He does he have a kit. Just gonna have to run away, and that's you know they got the picks, but just they weren't able to take oh, it out there. No kit and seven thousand dollars in the bank. Definitely not uh, the situation you'd want to be in as JKS, and uh, probably getting a little bit of a ridicule there from this from his team. No kit, no clue. But uh, in the end, it's gonna turn out to be around there for immunity. And uh, seven and five is a very very good uh, half so far from Immunity on that T side and definitely bringing uh, their A game here up against Immunity and uh, up against Vox rather but uh, this is probably what we expected the matchup to be in the grand finals and uh, it's just the case that they've met up in the uh, semis but uh, it's going to be a stellar match JKS picking up one through the smoke and Sponge doing a fair bit of damage there through the smoke as well so uh, good start here for Vox and could this be the return of, uh, you know, a few rounds for Vox. And hopefully for them, they can pick up the last three here and make it at least a half win. Uh, not a convincing one, though. So, uh, yeah, Immunity going to be the ones uh, to probably close this uh, map out, but certainly not this round. Yeah, I mean, they've got the picks they need early, Vox, right now. And trying to see if they can close this one out. If they get this one, they'll push uh, Immunity probably back onto some pistols. Uh, I'm not quite sure if they'll have enough to buy. Uh, they did win a couple in a row, so they might have enough for a second by attempt. But, you know, it's just what they need to try and swing the momentum back. There's only a couple rounds left in this half. And Top Gun actually finds two. Finds, JKS finds the third pick. And they are looking like they are on the bit of a comeback. Yeah, well, we'll see how they can go in this round. It's going to be probably an eco coming out from Immunity. It does appear to be that case. And uh, a lot of Tech Nines coming out. They do have a fair amount of money onto Sniper, so I'm assuming he's going to be dropping those for his team and equalizing the gold totals, or money totals even, if we're not going to be casting League of Legends here. And uh, Top Gun going to be the one playing towards uh, apartments, actually. Let's see what where he goes. Does he go bedroom or does he go dark? I think he was holding in dark before, so let's see if he does it again. He is going to do it. He's got a fantastic angle. They're not even going to check, and he's going to pick up a lot of damage and finally finds a kill. JKS going to be there to help him out as well and picks up one. Um, yeah, and finally takes down Top Gun, but uh, probably too little too late for him. And uh, Immunity going to try and do their best here, but uh, the bomb is down and Azza going to be holding there in apartments. And Yam is stuck here in dark. Not a lot of that, not a lot that he can do to get out of here. He is mollied off and uh, takes a lot of damage. Sponge there as well. 
with the crossfire, and that's a pretty standard that win there for Vox. Yeah, Vox looking really solid there. They got a couple of picks in that apartment. Looked really, really good defense. Is more of an aggressive holding position than they've done previously, but I guess they were versing the eco, so a lot of Tech Nines coming out. But this is a full rifle round coming out for both teams. One AWP onto Havoc. That's the only sniper on the field at this stage. And it looks like these guys will be still be doing battle. Along probably mid, I'm looking towards an aggressive push into apartments again by Top Gun. I mean, he's not defending the A side anymore like he has been previously. Um, as it actually picks up one really early, they are going for a bit of a mid push here. Sponge. Can he find that one? Goes down to imagine with that headshot. As it going to spray, but it doesn't find anyone. He's looking at the wrong side of the uh, the lane there. Imagine. Throws that molly out. Will they find any more picks? As it actually finds one onto James. Well, and JKS also finds one under Ricky. This is looking good for Vox again. There's only Imagine left, and he should go down right now. And that is the half to Vox, actually. Yeah, so they close it out, but uh, again, it wasn't particularly convincing for me. Um, I think Immunity looking pretty strong on this map so far, and 8-7 is definitely a result that they would be happy with. I think um, Vox might be kicking themselves a little bit, might have let a few rounds go where they probably didn't need to, especially that one with uh, JKS without the kit. That certainly should have been there around uh, because of that fantastic clutch that he made, but unfortunately didn't have time to defuse the bomb and uh, now we're going to be into the second pistol round and it's going to be important for both teams to pick this one up get an early lead in the second half and see where they can go from there but uh, we'll see what uh, JKS and the rest of the Vox guys can do they have got those Glocks of course up against the USPs of the counter terrorist and they probably don't want to be fighting here down the middle uh, sort of area uh, with the range advantage that the counter terrorists do have with their superior pistol in that sense, but they are heading now towards Banana, which would definitely be more of a favorable situation for them. You would expect uh, they can close those ranges and get those fantastic uh, spray or, or, or spams coming out from those Glocks and a lot of damage coming out from those onto unarmored targets. There are three uh, people on immunity who have picked up the uh, armor, so that's at least going to be keeping them a little bit safe, but uh, we'll see how the rest of this round progresses. Hey, Immunity playing it pretty slowly. They are all stacked up here in Banana, I guess waiting for someone to push them, and it looks like, like Imagine potentially is going to be that one to push them from behind, but no play yet, and I think Vox have a decent idea, uh, uh, Immunity have rather a decent idea that Vox is going to be playing here in Banana. And Ricky going to be doing a little bit of damage there so far. Imagine, I think, takes a headshot. Uh, Might have been from Top Gun there, but it looks like Vox have got entry into the site. Yam takes down one, two! One with the headshot, and uh, this is a fantastic result so far coming out for Immunity, but Top Gun and Havoc are going to turn the tables once again, and Ricky, oh, he's turning it once again. So it's 3v2 and a 3v1 now. Sniper picks up one, and Sniper picks up two, and Immunity have picked up both pistol rounds so yeah, far. Yeah, they've looked really, really solid on the pistol so far, and it gives them that early advantage they need coming into the half, but they've got the, generally the first three rounds in the first half they did. But whether they didn't do that this time, they're going for a couple for masses and some SMGs. Uh, you know, whether that will be able to push their advantage in this round. It looks like a Tech 9 buy coming in for Vox with no armor, so that's probably to be expected. Uh, they're going to just try and probably not playing aggressively enough for the Tech 9, but they are Ricky. Just going to walk out, finds one, but gets get killed by Sponge in return. Imagine, can he find anyone? Oh, he just turned around. Will he find the guy? No, it doesn't look like it. So Sniper going to rotate through there. Top Gun, oh. fall out of the door. <laughs> gets the quick headshot. Great play. Imagine. Can he find anyone in apartments? He's just sort of holding this place, looking fairly solid. Uh, just going down into pit, looking for a pick on someone that's going to rotate through into the A site. Vox just sort of, again, hanging back. They've got the the four pistols. Uh, they also have a UMP now taken from Immunity. Immunity down to three members, actually. So this is looking very good for Vox. They've played the eco fairly well. Uh, will be fine anyway. You can probably hear him above right now, imagine. Will he be looking up to see if he can get this pick. He's sort of just creating a bit of a distraction right now while they look out, but imagine didn't fall for it, got the pick onto Azza. And Top Gun rotating back through apartments, looking to do something here. Imagine still just holding the site. James looking to push towards B. They think they see a rotate coming from Vox. They do. Sniper picks up a bit of damage there. Will he find the second bit of damage? No, it's... Uh, Top Gun actually takes down Imagine over at A-Site, but James does find the pick on return. Sniper finds the second. Goes down, but James picks it up. Can he defuse? Looks yes, likely. Yes, he's got a kit, so he's going to have plenty of time. And uh, second round going over to Immunity, which, um, in all honesty, uh, they probably should have won that a little easier. They did go up against full pistols, and they had a full... Uh, well, not a full buy, but 
a decent buy coming out. So uh, might have been a little bit shaky on the counter terrace side, but again, they're going to have a buy up. And uh, Vox going to choose to buy up as well, seeing as they got the plant. And uh, it's going to be actually probably looking like a better buy, in my opinion, for uh, Vox at the moment. They do have full, full guns, uh, whereas... Uh, immunity probably sitting on those Famasas and that Nova as well, probably not going to help them out too much, but we'll see how they go, and there is enough enough grenades on both teams to kind of work with, uh, so they should be able to pick up some damage on these sites, and we'll see how Azza can do here, pushing up the uh, banana area, I think they are aware that he's there, Ricky gets flashed out by uh, I think a Sniper actually, uh, but it is, it's usually not Azza the one pushing in here, it's usually Sniper, so interestingly it, or interesting to see him going here on the kind of entry fagger role, potentially uh, not looking to actually entry fag, rather just hold this angle uh, while the rest of the box guys try to find something. But Ricky, too strong with that one uh, Nova shot there coming out, and he's going to pick himself up a fair amount of gold from uh, money from that uh, weapon, of course. Uh, but now the tables have turned in the favour of immunity. They've uh, got that two those two frags, and uh, only losing Ricky for their troubles. But uh, it looks like Vox is going to be heading towards that A site, which is uh, pretty much probably the easier one, I guess you could say, to take. Uh, they don't all have to charge in through Banana in that one angle. They have a lot of options. They can go apartments, middle. It looks like they're going to be going mid to arch, actually. And uh, no one from uh, Immunity has spotted them out yet, but it is going to be imagined here on the defense. Could be potentially a rotate around to be here from Vox, and they have spoked off uh, the library as well, so it is going to be the case here, and James has a lot of work to do. He picks up two, and he's going to be able to find the third as well, so fantastic job from him, and you can hear Immunity getting loud in the uh, back of the internet cafe here. Yeah, they just sort of held that position well. They sort of saw them rotate. I'm pretty sure Imagine saw them go into that arch through just the corner of the smoke that didn't cover it, so it wasn't the best smoke. But uh, they called it. James was there, picked up three really, really easily with that M4. Looked really, really great. Didn't even get seen, I don't think. They didn't even fire like a shot at him. And it looks like Vox back to Tech 9. No armor right now. They've got this. It's still the Nova for Ricky, actually. This is just an interesting buy. It looks like they're just going to try and hold Banana with it, possibly. Uh, we'll see what he's doing with that if we just go have a look. Yeah, just, just trying to hold Banana with a Nova. Not a bad ploy, actually. They seem to be working well. He held that angle for a very, very long time, but it looks like Vox are moving towards the A site. They're trying to find at least one pick. They do have a bit of damage down to Yam, but Havoc's taken a bit of damage as the bomb carrier himself. He's going to walk into this smoke, looking like James is sort of just holding that angle. Will he find anyone? Doesn't look like it, so if he just rotate over to Azza. Looks like Yam's found a pick onto Sponge. As a, just getting the shots down there on James. James does go down eventually, but Imagine picks up the return frag. The bomb is down, but just right there, just in the molly. Will we see Imagine hold this angle? It looks like Yam just picked up one on Box, and Imagine finding one on JKS. And Immunity win that round. Actually, sort of starting to get a bit of a lead now. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we did say we expected uh, Immunity would be the ones to pick this map up. Of course, they did decide to choose this map as their first pick. They were the first seed into this uh, into this game, of course, uh, so they did have the first uh, veto and as well the first pick. So first map, Inferno. Second map is going to be Dust2, which is Vox's pick. And uh, the final map, of course, will be Nuke. Uh, very excited to see that one coming out. Hopefully we'll have a good game on that one, or hopefully we'll even get there, actually. To be honest, I'd love to see the first best of three of today coming into the third map. Would be fantastic to see. But uh, we're going to be looking now at Yam, trying to hold middle here up against uh, Havoc. It appears going to be spraying through that middle area, but uh, through the smoke and not going to find anyone, but does do a little bit of damage there to Yam. Just uh, a little bit of a safe play coming out here at the moment from Immunity. And Vox not going for too much uh, crazy stuff just yet, but we'll see Havoc poking out of the boiler here and we'll probably have to go up against Ricky, but Ricky picks up one with that off. The second man in boiler is going to be Yam. Does pick up one for himself, but Havoc trades him out. And uh, now a 3v4 for Immunity, so this should be a fairly standard hold for them, but we'll see what Havoc can do with the rest of his boys coming into this A site. There is a rotator coming around from behind. That is going to be James. They need to enter this site before he gets behind them, or it's going to be trouble for them, and uh, we'll see what they can do now. It is going to be Sniper spraying through the smoke, picks up one. Cannot pick up a second, of course. They are hiding behind that wall, and Vox uh, just getting destroyed here by Immunity in this round. It's four still alive for Immunity, and a great round coming up for them. Yeah, Immunity looking very, very solid. They held that position really, really effectively. I think there's only Yam that went down, so it was a great little hold there. They sat in Boiler and got a couple of picks, and then Sniper picking that one up back across just through the, through the smoke. Looked really, really a good. Tech 9 armors coming out for most of Vox right now. They are still two with no armor, so a bit of a save coming through. A couple of mollies going in towards Banana, but 
They're not looking to push through there, actually. They're going in towards mid. Actually, Top Gun takes a bit of damage, but does pick up Yam with the Deagle. Imagine. Actually goes down as well. Top Gun looking good. James picking up one with the with the gun and one with the fire. And uh, the take nine kill coming there from Sponge. Will they find anyone else? It is three to two. So they do have picked up a couple of uh, M4s and an M4 and a Silence M4. So Sniper looking to pick this one back in return. And they find anyone. Ricky does have the AWP still, so does get tagged there, which is not looking great. But uh, Sponge getting up on top of Graveyard. Will he find anyone? Sniper finds it first. He does find the return. The bomb is still down, though, so... Yeah, it appears Ricky just going to be saving that AWP. I think he... Uh you know, made that decision uh, as a Sniper opted to go in. And I think, uh, you know, saving the AWP is probably the <laughs> favourable situation to saving the M4. So Sniper was in there trying to get some uh, frags and try and break the economy a little bit from Vox. But Ricky, definitely happy to save that AWP of his. And we'll be taking that one into the next round. It is going to be a buy-up, though, from uh, the counter terrorists being immunity. Uh, they do have enough money and they've got 12 rounds under their belt, so only four to go before they can take out this first map. And uh, the situation for them, best of three, they have to win two. Uh, obviously, it's not like the best of two yesterday where, where we were combining the round scores. It's just going to be who's going to have the most uh, maps at the end of the best of three. And whoa, Sponge getting legged there by Ricky through the smoke as well. So Ricky probably isn't aware of that, but Sponge not going to be too happy with what's going on. But he does uh, oh, kill himself, I think, maybe with a grenade there, which is very unfortunate. But Top Gun picks up Ricky, though. Uh, so that is good entry for them. And Top Gun has got control of the balcony area with that AWP. Doesn't manage to find the headshot or anything onto Imagine. He did have that AWP. And uh, Imagine takes down two. Meanwhile, Havoc has gotten himself into Graveyard. Hasn't taken really much of a shot yet, but does take down Sniper and Imagine as well. Yam is going to be finding himself a kill, though, onto Havoc. And that is another round going over to Immunity. Immunity looking like they could close this one out very, very quickly. Uh, it does look like another bit, an eco round coming through for Vox, so they can probably make this 14-9, and that would put them in a really good position for the next uh, rifle round, but full M4 buys coming for uh, Im immunity right now. No orps at the moment, but they do have plenty of equipment to push their advantage. No armor or equipment coming from Vox, so this looks like if they win this round that's it's not something they should do. Just some fires towards mid, looking to hold this position. The smoke to do, just dows that one at... Oh, actually takes a bit of a teammate shot there. And it looks like they're going to push in towards this one. They're holding an apartment still. Looking towards Banana and apartments. Looking for a bit of a double. And James finds one through the pick and finds two. And Imagine finds the third. Not looking good for Vox. Azza and Sponge looking to hold this one. Gets taken down by Imagine. This is looking all over for Vox in this round. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a pistol round, so uh, what can you do, I guess, in that situation? They did go for their best shot, which was Boiler, trying to close that gap before they had to go for any sort of engages, but didn't work out for them. Uh, Vox proving to be uh, a little poor at the moment so far on uh, the Inferno, but again, it is not their map, so Immunity, the expected winners of this one, and they are doing a fantastic job so far, getting very hyped up, and they have a full buy here as well. Uh, so definitely going to be uh, looking to uh, close out this round as well and then put it to a match point situation. And Vox is definitely going to be under the pump there. A nice j boost up here from Yam. Going to be getting onto the roof there uh, on Quad. But uh, Havoc and the rest of Vox going to be heading towards uh, the B site. Top Gun is taken down by Ricky. And Ricky, the only one there actually holding the B site. So he's got a lot of work to do. They're not going to push through the smoke, though. Uh, Vox... Just a little scared. They have uh, had some bad experiences, I guess, pushing through smoke and pistol rounds and don't want to lose those uh, those guns uh, on their, obviously, on their buy round. So, uh, opportunity to go for the safer play, just waiting for those smokes to disappear. But uh, the, the thing about the smokes is that the counter terrorists can effectively lock down the sites for such a long time uh, and it really forces the terrorists to be in a disadvantaged, disadvantaged position. Uh, they have so little time to work with after all those smokes disappear that they really uh, uh, have a bit of trouble getting the bomb down if they do lose a couple of frags on, on the entry. But this is going to be the entry now for Vox, and uh, the smoke's going to be going. I think one went to CT and one went to Coils, uh, and that is the case. And the bomb is taken down there by Ricky, though Sponge was on the entry roll. Ricky spamming through the smoke again, picks up another one. So fantastic work from him, and uh, everything smoked off. So Vox actually have got the sight, but we are going to see someone coming in from behind. I think that is going to be Yam on from Banana, and he's going to find... Oh, he's going to find Azza. I thought Azza was going to pick him up there, but JKS picks up one, and, uh, well, traded out there by James, and another 
round going over to the counter terrorists and uh, it's going to be match point now for immunity for the next uh, however many rounds box can pick up if they do even pick up one but uh yeah immunity looking very strong so far and we'll see what they can do in this final round yeah this is the final round match point for immunity and just a bit of a uh, all-round buy coming from vox they've got a couple of uh, galils and ak's all armor though which is what they need just a little bit of equipment it looks like immunity has the good position on this one they do have the orf a couple of ak's and m4s they're looking to push this one it looks like vox sort of heading towards banana again this is a play they've done a couple of times but they're all just dropping like flies yam picks up two as it picks up one return james actually finding one can they find the next one jk yes picking one havoc can he get the pick here for the spray, he actually doesn't find anyone. That was a bit strange, sorry. And uh, JKS does pick up one in return. So it's actually 2v2. It started out very good for immunity, but it's switched right around. It's back to being pretty even. So they're just looking to hold this position. Will Ricky find anyone with the orb? They are looking like they're just sort of just holding this mid. Imagine, going to push back towards Banana. See if he can find them. JKS and Havoc, they're taking this so slowly. They're just trying to save this round and just try and uh, recuperate and try and find the bomb down. Does he find him? No, he doesn't. The molly comes out. This will hold them for a little bit. Does he find a picture of the smoke? No, he looks like he jumped over it. That was fantastic. He's going to go for the plant. This could be good. JKS, they're looking to hold this one. Imagine going to come through from behind. Ricky also coming through with his orb. Will he be able to find the last couple of picks? Orb is there. JKS, they're holding it. It's so tense. They're sort of just looking towards to hold this one. I'll leave you to one to finish this one off. All right, looks like Imagine is going to pick up the first frag there with the molly and take JKS yes, takes him out, trades it down. But for JKS and Ricky, the two clutch kings for their teams, but JKS going to be the one to be superior in this situation. And Vox finally picking up a round. I believe they've, uh, yeah, they've lost three rounds in a row. So picked up one and they've only taken two so far on the terror side, which honestly they proved to be uh, quite success successful overseas at those qualifiers. But... Uh, not working out so far against Immunity, and uh, well, I mean, that was a very close round. Could have gone either way, and uh, Immunity still very close to, to closing out this game. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. And um, they are looking back to push this one towards Window, actually. They're just sort of spraying this one out. Looks like he's just missing in there. Yam actually finds one in apartments if we go over to him on this one. <laughs> they are looking to hold this one. Does he find him? No, he gets a lot of damage down, but doesn't find anyone through the wall. Top Gun does have the ore. Oh, no, sorry, just a scout. Can he find him? No, he doesn't actually poke his head around. Good non-peeking there. JKS going for the bit of the mid spray. They're sort of holding the site. Doesn't find anyone towards pa patio. And Top Gun looking to hold this one. Still no frags coming through them. Imagine just holding the other site. JKS still spraying. It looks like Immunity are holding this one pretty well. Not a spray teammate there. And they're looking to win this round. Yam picks up one with the USP, actually. Top Gun, that was the orb. Oh, the, sorry, the scout goes down. Scout onto Yam. Will they find another pick? They're holding this one. Imagine good hold and good headshot there. Just sitting in position. JKS actually picks one back onto James. And uh, it looks like Immunity might win this one. Yeah, it is going to be a 1v3 situation for Havoc. And he's having a bit of trouble. He has got the bomb though, so he does have the option of planting that one. But it is going to be whether or not he can get onto site. Ricky has spotted him out, so we'll expect to see Imagine probably picking him up on the rotate here. Let's see. Yeah, Imagine takes him down. First map going over to Immunity. Pretty much uh, not a huge surprise, I think. Immunity were obviously the ones to pick that map. So we're going to be heading over to Dust2 shortly. And uh, that's going to be the one where Vox is going to be looking for revenge. Uh, we will see now. Uh, we're going to be actually coming up on camera very shortly. So hello, everybody. And uh, hopefully uh, the team's going to be pretty quick into the next map. Actually, looks like they're going to be uh, hanging around looking for a little bit of a break. So uh, going to be standing up, having a walk around. And we might actually head to a break as well if that's going to be the case. We'll be heading into Dust 2 very shortly. My name is Elfish Guy. That is JV Gunslinger. We'll be back shortly.